What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Our Stream is Cheaters. Today we're going to be talking about the clip of Aiden where he gets all the red dots on the map. The reason we're going to be talking about this again is because Jgod has actually done a video on Twitter somehow indirectly responding to the video we've put out. He talks about tinfoil hats in his video and how we can take them off now. So what we'll do first in this video is we are going to react to the video Jgod put out on Twitter. And then we'll follow up with a little bit more information after that. If you do enjoy the video, guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at BadBoyBeeman. It's the best place for you guys to contact me about any streamers, no matter how big or small, if you believe they are cheating. Right, let's crack on with the video. This is the tweet from Jgod. This was posted on August 8th this year, 2021. It says, a lot of comments asking about a clip of Aiden from four months ago where he has an kill cam UAV bug because they think he slipped up and showed his cheats. Almost as if people didn't ever play the game to experience such bugs. Other than the clip of Aiden, where it shows everybody on the map when he pulls it up and he claims it to be a bug, I have never seen this happen to anybody else. I've never seen video evidence of this happening to anybody else. So for Jay God to say almost as if people didn't ever play the game to experience such bugs. I mean, if there was more video evidence of this happening to people, then maybe, just maybe people wouldn't believe that it was more than just a bug. Let's take a listen and a watch of what Jay God has to say on the matter in this video that he posted to Twitter. Before we do watch it, guys, you have to remember that the quality of Twitter videos is very poor. Okay, so let's give it a watch and listen to what Jay God has to say on the matter. And let's take a look at some of the news sites that he actually goes to as well. So I was getting a bunch of YouTube comments of people telling me, did I see the Aiden permanent UAV bug? Wall hacks, cheats, permanent UAV with radar? Um, yeah, a lot of people commented that. It's like, man, people can be brainwashed so easily. This is a basic standard clip. Unfortunately, this clip is from April and for Twitch partners, you usually only get to keep your VODs for two months. So conveniently, we can't go back in and hear that someone called in advanced UAV and then they had the kill cam bug. So around that time on April 8th, it looks like this article was post, there was a recon glitch where if somebody had done like seven recons and you pull up the mini map, during that kill cam animation before it actually causes you to spectate a teammate you could see those future recons it's inherently an engine issue at that time because even call of duty pros during the cdl you could actually look at the mini map during the kill cam and you could see where all of the enemy players were and then they went in they fixed it obviously that's why this clip is from so long ago and it's pretty easy to confirm the date of the clip all you do is got to look at this number at the bottom and you just plug that into a cod tracker and you can see this is the guy who ends up killing if we look up aiden boom there it is aiden lucky chamu and you can see this date of this match is from <laughs> april 8th coincidentally right so you could take the tinfoil hat off it's okay, it was just a bug. <laughs> okay. So it seems that J-God's making a valid point there, wouldn't you say? Maybe. But what we're going to do, we're going to dive into it a little bit now. We're going to go back and check some of the dates of things that he's actually mentioned and used as reference to the bug that's happened to Aiden in April 8th, 2021. So let's pull it back a little bit. So at this point, he is on the Gfinity website. This is an article by Chris Trout. Call of Duty Warzone Recon Kill Cam Glitch allows you to see the next circle. 8th of April, 2021. So first of all, let me say that this is specifically about a recon glitch. Now, I remember this recon glitch, but for some reason, it feels like it happened a lot longer ago. It doesn't feel like it was this year. But the recon glitch only shows the next circle. It doesn't specify anything within this article about a UAV having the same issue. It doesn't. And even if that was the issue, a UAV only shows a certain amount of distance around the enemy or the player who has the UAV active. So it wouldn't show every player on the whole map. And you'd think if it was actually a UAV bug where they were using an advanced UAV, it would show up as an advanced UAV. Bringing it back to the point, this article that he's used as reference isn't anything related to a UAV bug. 
it is only specific to the recon bug. Like I've said, I remember this glitch happening. But for some reason, I don't remember it happening since the Cold War integration of Warzone. So how long ago did this happen? This article is dated the 8th of April 2021. That doesn't seem right. So I decided to do a little bit of research about this recon glitch. Let's take a look at what we found. The article that JGod showed on the Gfinity website was written by Chris Trout. So what I've done, I've clicked on the author's name. It's brought us across to recent articles. So we're going to scroll through all these articles now. This is pre-recorded, so I'm just going to hit play on this. And it's basically going to scroll through every single article Chris Trout has ever put onto the Gfinity website. Okay, so let's pause it here. This is the 8th of April, 2021. Ballista Kanjo review. Is GTA and GTA Online going to be free? Fortnite Season 6, where to collect Titanic artifacts. So they are the four articles that Chris Trout posted on the 8th of April, 2021. Where is the article about the recon glitch? It's not there. So let's scroll a little bit further down. I'm going to say a little bit further down, we are talking almost a year down. Pause. That is the exact article on the exact website on gfinityesports.com. It's the same image. Call of Duty Warzone Recon Kill Cam Glitch allows you to see the next circle. 22nd of April 2020. We'll click on that now, open it up, and that is the article right there. But for some reason, the article date has changed on it. 8th of April 2021. How can that change? The article was originally published on the 22nd of April 2020, and for some reason the article is stating the 8th of April. The 8th of April, which just so happens to be the exact day that Aiden had that UAV glitch on his game. Is that coincidental? But I'm thinking maybe that is just an error. Somehow this is an error. So what I did, I decided to take a look at all the hyperlinks within the article. There's hyperlinks to a Twitter post. There are also hyperlinks to other articles by Gfinity and their writers. So we're going to take a look at where these hyperlinks take us to now. Let's go. So keep in mind, guys, that the article is dated the 8th of April 2021 at this point. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go on to the Clever Tricks tweet, which has been hyperlinked in this article. We scroll down here. Before we click on it, let's have a look. Recon Kill Cam Glitch. Twitter user clever underscore tricks has shared a new piece of intel, a new piece of intel that may come in handy to users in Warzone. Okay, that's brilliant. With this being published on the 8th of April 2021, we can only expect the clever tricks tweet to be very recent around that date. We'll open that in a new tab. Clever tricks. Warzone tip. If you're watching a kill cam, press the map button. If the team that killed you has completed any recon contracts, it will show you. See the next circle collapses for free. At Modern Warzone. That was at 4.24am on April 22nd, 2020. So that again was from April last year on the 22nd. Not from April 8th this year, 2021. No. So how can this be classed as new information on the article that's posted on the 8th of April 2021? And the tweet is from 2020. It's almost starting to feel like maybe j -God didn't do enough research at this point when he's used that article as evidence about the glitch that apparently happened to Aiden. Which again brings me back to the GG Recon section he used in the news where it says CDL players demand kill cams to be banned for world champions, right? And the reason we pulled it back to this section, because he uses this as an example of a permanent UAV glitch, okay? Engine issue at that time, because even Call of Duty pros during the... And the tweet in which he references within this was from July 26th, 2020. That was a much longer time ago than April 8th, 2021. So at this point, the original website that JGod used, which he claimed was dated April 8th, 2021, which was the exact same date that Aiden had that game where that bug or glitch happened. And now he's using a reference of a tweet from July 2020 as well. 
That's not the end of this though, guys. I've done a little bit more digging. And in doing a little bit more digging, we actually come across quite a few things. Not only have we checked the tweet from Clever Tricks, which is dated from 2020, we then go over here, we've got a season three hyperlink, saw a few changes to Warzone as a part from new playlist update to minor tweaks, blah, blah, blah. We'll right click on that and open that as a hyperlink. New tab. And this brings us to the article which reads, Modern Warfare Season 3. Hard hat map, war zone, road map, end date, maps, weapons, battle pass rewards, modern warfare 2 remastered and more. Again, this is dated the 8th of April 2021. Which doesn't make sense, does it? Because this is talking about modern warfare season 3. And this is talking about things that have just been incorporated into the game. Warzone has reinstated the popular plunder trios mode, recently replaced by plunder duos. The Battle Royale mode also received a well-needed fix and new features. In this new season, we have been blessed with three new maps, CODs 4, Backlot, Ovex, Sawmill, and Ania Incursion. The SKS Sniper and Renetti Pistols, two new weapons, SKS Sniper and Renetti Pistols. So how old is this article? Because it certainly isn't from the 8th of April 2021, is it? Because this is talking about Modern Warfare Season 3. Does anybody remember when Season 3 dropped for Modern Warfare? And we're not talking about Cold War. We're not talking about Warzone. We're talking about Modern Warfare Season 3. Let's take a look at when that date was. So we've done a little bit of digging. We typed in on Microsoft Bing. Modern Warfare Season 3 release date. And at the top here, it's got a date April 8th, 2020. So the release date for Modern Warfare Season 3 was April 8th, 2020. When does Call of Duty Modern Warfare Season 3 start? The Call of Duty Modern Warfare Season 3 release date should be Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. The official Call of Duty Twitter account revealed the release date last week. Let's take a look at this article. And there's a list of all the times and dates for different locations that Season 3 was actually released, which was April 8th, 2020. Which brings us back to the article that Jay got decided to use as evidence to support this glitch happening to Aiden on April 8th, 2021. This article is dated April 8th, 2021, which does align with Aiden's apparent glitch in that game. However, we've now found that this article was originally based on April 22nd, 2020, which we found by clicking on Chris Trout's name and scrolling through all his recent articles. So the date of this article is wrong. And then the hyperlink, which leads us to another article on Gfinity as well, which is about Modern Warfare Season 3, which we have just proved the release date for that was April 8th, 2020, not 2021. So the questions we want to ask here are, number one, why is this article from Gfinity dated 22nd of April 2020 on the list of previous articles written by Chris Trout? But when you select it and go onto the article itself, it is now dated the 8th of April 2021. I want to mention a comment that was actually placed on Jay God's tweet, talking about how after Jay God's done his research, he's managed to disprove accusations against Aiden for what happened in the clip. This is the tweet here. But it's funny how if you do a little bit more research, you find out the actual truth. And in this, the truth is that the article Jay God used as reference to what happened with Aiden is wrong because it's dated the 22nd of April 2020 on the official Gfinity website. But for some reason, the date has been changed. And let's not forget the hyperlinks within that article. The first one was a tweet from Clever Tricks, which was about the recon glitch, 22nd of April 2020. Then you had the hyperlink for season three which led to an article about Modern Warfare Season 3, not Cold War Season 3. So everything within that article that is hyperlinked is directly linked to April 2020 and not April of this year. So Jay God, maybe in future you should do a little bit more research into the articles you're using to reference because it only took me around an hour to find all of this information out. But there are a couple of things to take away from this video today. Number one, nowhere in any of these articles did it mention anything about a UAV bug showing up it only refers to a recon bug where it shows the next circle if the enemy team that kills you has a recon that is all the article specifies another thing to take away from this is that the article was originally dated on the 22nd of april 2020 and all the hyperlinks within that article lead to information and tweets and other posts and other articles dated from april 2020 also 
So this being used as a reference to what happened on Aiden's stream on April 8th, 2021 makes absolutely no sense. So the questions that need to be asked now, did Jgod know that the article date had been changed? If not, then should he be looking to do a little bit more research in future before posting a video about something like this? Another question is, does Jgod actually have much knowledge about anything to do with the game outside of the gun recoil patterns that he makes videos about, about the new meta? Because it seems that he's trying to get involved in things that don't really concern him. But in doing that, he's actually made it worse for himself, along with Aiden as well. So the information that he's put out in his video to Twitter is completely wrong. And that's been proven in this video today, based on dates, times, and the way in which he's tried to line it all up. One more thing that I would like to point out. How much of a coincidence is it that the article that talks about this recon glitch somehow manages to have the date changed on it to the exact day that Aiden appeared to have a permanent UAV on his stream. Is that a coincidence? Could it be that Gfinity are involved somehow? And if that is the case, do you think Jgod somehow was involved too? If that is the case, then I genuinely think that these people believe that me and my community are very silly and stupid. When in actual fact, after an hour of research, we have completely debunked the video that Jgod's put out, where Jgod actually tries to say that the recon glitch that happened on the 22nd of April 2020 is exactly what happened to Aiden. Something I've always done is hold my hands up when I've been in the wrong. Let's see if Jgod can do the same thing. And maybe this is a wake up call for Jgod because he's getting involved in things that honestly do not concern him. And in doing so, he's actually posting false information. He's actually posting false news. It is not the first time that he's got involved in things like this. If you remember, he actually got involved in the Hackusations Part 2 video from Zlaner, where Jgod happily decided to offer his assistance in demonstrating how aim assist works through a wall or a ceiling in Warzone. And let's not mention the time that he decided to retweet something about my personal life, which just so happened to be false news again. So what is it with Jgod? Is it a personal matter with Jgod? Or do you think he's just trying to get my channel shut down? Because so far, absolutely none of you have succeeded in doing that. Better luck next time. If you did enjoy the video, guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. If you want to support the channel further, hit that blue join button today and become a member of the Triple B fam. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at BadBoyBeeman. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!